in my own experience, um, using music was such a, a powerful healing tool, not only in distracting myself from physical pain, but then also finding hope again, getting over that frustration. The way music helped Allison Huey through lingering back pain sent her back to school at Converse University to take her love of music and add the skills of a therapist. Just listening to music you enjoy is so powerful. Um, when we listen to music, there are multiple areas of the brain that are being engaged, so it's like a disco party for your brain. Most recently, an idea for therapeutic creative card decks went from dream to reality. So. If you pull out a card, um, we have art, music, movement, and writing prompts. So if I pull out a music card, um, you could pull them randomly or you could pull like depending on the cat category. Open the eyes of my heart during the pandemic, Allison's church needed some help on guitar. Now she's playing a leading role at worship. I feel like um, the ability to to share songs of faith and share songs of hope within community is such a profound experience. While Allison manages a private music therapy practice, she also created social media groups that are active, free, and making a difference. The in-between space of people who maybe aren't in therapy but you're really stressed out, really overwhelmed, like could definitely use some healthy coping skills, that sort of thing. She's witnessed music therapy be transformative. A veteran who I got to know who was in long-term care and he and his wife both lived in the same community. Sadly, Allison says, his dementia was taking over. I was able to, to pair familiar music from their early courting days and um, facilitate movement to music between the two of them. Music, a healing connector that started with passionate performances in this Converse recital hall. My mom has always been my biggest cheerleader and my biggest support and encourager throughout my life. And um, we're currently in the Lawson Academy recital hall and uh, she was here when I was in high school playing recitals and um, every step along the way and um, I'm just so honored that she would nominate me. I mean, Amy, we could listen to this music oh. all day. Can you, if we had a piano here, we would be like, please, Alice. That's, how, that's <laughs> just what the segment would be. Just yeah, I feel relaxed just having the, the music of Imagine underneath the yes. story. But, but talk a little bit. It was so sweet, your mom. I know she's watching. Hi, mom. Um, that she nominated you. I, that had to mean so much to you. Yes. Uh, it was such a big surprise and um, and so sweet of her to nominate me. And she is a remarkable woman. So yeah. thank you, mom. Yeah. Well, we love it. And, you know, just the music, you can see it when you're playing. You get, you know, emotional thinking about it. And talk. What is it that just, you know, it's kind of helped you through everything, too? Uh, looking back, even from a very young age, uh, music was instrumental, if you would say. Yeah, <laughs> you could say <laughs> uh -huh. um, In my dealing with anxiety and, sure. um, mm -hmm. you know, feelings of, of worry, that kind of thing even before um, I knew what music therapy was, I was using music to, to cope with different things. And being a teenager, and I think most all of us, you know, can relate to putting on certain music when we were a teenager oh, to yes. let out our emotions. Someone gets me, they Yes, understand. yes. Uh -huh. um, Brene Brown says, music makes me feel less alone in the mess. Yes. And I love that quote. But uh, when I started in band, especially, and playing flute, um, you know, music was a safe space for me. Mm -hmm. and um, a way for self-expression and also healing uh, in some way. So well, I, I know in our story online there are ways to reach out to you, but uh, when it comes to affordability, is is it affordable? Can people find a way to get music yeah, fer therapy if that is the thing they really need? Um, there are different options. So unfortunately in South Carolina um, we don't have the um, waiver program coverage like Georgia does. Hopefully we'll get there one day. Um, but we do have um, programs with partnering with nonprofits, grant programs, that sort of thing to increase access. Um, and part of my passion is to also share um, 
ways in which we can all use music for healing and um, bringing more of an intentionality behind that um, practice uh, in ways that we can use it for self-care or you know, maybe parents can use it with their kids, that kind of thing, um, if clinical music therapy isn't accessible for them. And breathing paired with music can make a lot of, of a change, right? Yes, that is my favorite combination. Um, yeah, it goes together like peanut butter and jelly, shake okay. and bake. Uh, you know, uh, so many times uh, when we're anxious, we hold our breath or we're not breathing deeply. And one of my favorite patterns, box breathing, um, fits perfectly with almost all popular music. So um, it's a way to structure our breath and help um, go back to that relax Allison, this was state. so cool. I learned a, a lot just from, yeah. from this segment. So nice Thank to you. meet you nice to in meet person. Y'all don't go anywhere when we come back next. We are going to announce the winner of the Remarkable Women Contest. That's next on your Carolina.